Hello everyone, this is size 8 long shank hook and the bead I'm using is 4mm brass bead and thread is, uh, this is a peacock blue now in this pattern you can use different thread if you want but I prefer this one so just start below the bead and use touch and turn I will explain all the materials as I go along Okay, for the tail I'm using, this is olive marabou, dyed olive, so we need a decent amount of feathers, so take a pinch, just grab them, spin them around, I'm going to cut this end and take this extra fluff off because then you will make a nice now catch it body length copper turn take your time just to make sure it's sitting on top okay now I'm going to add a tiny bit of uh, this is a blue color rice blue color marabou just make a big difference um, in winter when you're fishing cold weather and fishing fish are deep you know so what you have to do just put it on the top again cut this off again and spin it in just a body length again now when you catch on top two turn and I normally kind of spread it out on either side and then now for the body I'm using this a blue flush you know tinsel it's a large size so catch that same time everything you know same time I'm gonna hide all this material once I catch this okay Now use your touch and turn all the way. Just to level up this body. Come back. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna add some more blue actually on the tail. So this is a small size blue tinsel again, holographic one. And if you get one strand out, double it up and then catch it. And then bring the other side away from you. And then just hold both end just about either side of the hook. Once you've done that, that's fine now this is a body material actually I'm keep uh, on holding on to it I'm not gonna use it yet so cut this off okay now Also, I need to put huckle on it. So to catch the huckle, this is a clear mono thread again. I used it quite a few time on my tying, and because I use this one, so it's very transparent, so we can see all the you know flushy stuff onto the on the part actually. So don't worry about this mess at the moment because it's gonna go and then put this on the side huckle olive huckle I'm using this is a bit dark olive so if I can get a longer fiber and uh, more kind of 
you know longer hook or bushier you know so what I normally do cut this other way around like this you know Catch it on the top, secure it properly, and that's it, it's square now. And I'm going to take this off. Now, however, you find it easy, you can do that way, but I think that way is more easier to tie. Now, here, what I'm going to do bring this flushable I'm just once I get this you can use super glue here but I'm not gonna because I think it should be strong enough so I'll cover all this by using touching turn or overlap it It's a bit of uh, effort, but it's worth it, you know, when you're fishing in winter, hard fishing days. Pattern like this always surprise you. So I'm okay, going to take this now off. Gently bring these hackle, couple of turn in the front, and then open up the gap. Now catch it with this mono thread and then wiggle it about and come back to catch, uh, catch each individual turn and then take this off and then fold everything back. Just to release some of the fiber is being trapped under. Oh, we just wanted to see the blue inside, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna get this out of my way and then just kind of build up here because this is a very thin mono. Okay. And I'm going to add some varnish on the mono thread. You can obviously put varnish after if you want. And then we finish. Okay, now here you can work with a hardcore because if you use, make sure you use hand hardcore here, the soft one, they kind of work much better in the water, you know. So there we have another uh, blue flush uh, damsel lure. I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for watching.